What's going on guys, welcome back to another video, and this is going to be showing like a cow stable, or a cow pen, whichever you prefer to call it. Sorry I didn't do anything like I normally do, I was feeling a little under the weather today, so this is still a little bigger than I was actually planning on building of a thing, but I, yeah, I do personally like this, not to, again, not to be that guy, but um, I, don't know, I always like to give my thoughts. And, um, yeah, now I did do a little bit, I have a couple different designs for you could do for the inside, or you could combine them all if you really wanted to, I guess the quote-unquote inside the, I guess inside of the stables. And also, here's some cow names, you got Margaret, you have Gamer Bob, uh, you have, what's his name, Gary, and also you gotta give a good old Mr. Moo. So, um, yeah, enjoy the tutorial. Alright, so the space we're gonna need for this is a 23 by 12, and the materials we need to start off are pillar quartz block. I kind of start with the obvious one. <laughs> Spruce wood planks, there's the obvious one. Glass panes. Spruce fence gates, or any fence gate. It's up to you which one you would like to use. Smooth quartz slabs. Smooth quartz blocks. Smooth quartz stairs. Is that it for the exterior or the outside? I believe that's it for the outside. Uh, I guess for the inside, if you want, you can also grab spruce wood stairs and lanterns. You don't need those two until like much later, though. Starting from the front left-hand corner of your 23 by 12 grid call for a minute. You can start from the front right-hand corner if that is more convenient to you. This build is completely so much cool as far as left and right is concerned. Not front and back, though. <laughs> Wait, you want to count back by two and right by one, and you want to place a pillow course block. Bring that right with four spruce fence gates. Doing this a little different than I would have, than I normally would have. A pillow course block. Four spruce fence gates, a pillar quartz block, four spruce fence gates, a pillar quartz block, four spruce fence gates, a pillar quartz block. You can keep extending that for as long as you'd like to. Um, what I would recommend with that though is, or you can also make this two sided as well, but each section adds five plus the end block. So, like, this section right here, if you include both pillar quartz blocks on the side, that's 7. Then I'd say 5, 5, 6, because of this, um, sticky out part. Which is the overhang of the roof. Yeah, I just figured I'd make sure that that was clear. But now what you want to do is you want to bring every single pillar quartz block up with three pillar quartz blocks. Make sure that's correct. I'm almost positive that's correct. It is. All right. And then on the front side of every single top pillar quartz block, you want to place an upside down smooth quartz stair. And then on the inner side, so basically, well, I guess on the left and right of the three inner pillars, or however many it is for you, and then on the two outer pillars, you just want to place it on the more inner side. So just like that. You basically don't want any stairs on the side, although you could technically add one. It doesn't really matter, but I personally did not. Alright, so once you have this, you want to come to um, all of the, I guess, behind all the pillar quartz blocks, you want to bring them back with seven rows of spruce wood planks. I guess seven spruce wood planks each. All four rows of each pillar quartz block. Because there are four rows. Just like that. So we still have, like, sections that aren't really connected by anything except for, uh, air. But... Let's switch that, shall we? So behind the far left and the far right row of spruce wood planks, you want to place... How many pillow quartz is it? It's more than normal. It's Is it six? 
Yes, you want to place six pillar quartz blocks. Moving up. Just like that. So this is the back view. I'll show you the front view now. And then you want to connect those two pillar quartz blocks, columns, at the back of the build with spruce wood planks. All rows of it. So we'll go a little bit above the walls, which is fine. Just like that. Now, you want to place a smooth quartz block on top of each pillar quartz block. And you want to bring it right by one, or sorry, outwards by one, not right by one. And then back by one each. Is it three? Yeah, it is, okay. You then want to bring those two rows of smooth quartz inwards by one row. So you technically just brought that center row right and left by one and then back by one. And then what you want to do from the back row only is you want to place moving left to right or right to left does not matter. I would start at one and focus on that one because it doesn't matter which one you start with. Their pattern will be exactly the same. But you want to place two ups and on smooth quartz slabs. Three smooth quartz blocks. Two upside on smooth quartz slabs. Three smooth quartz blocks. Two upside on smooth quartz slabs. Three smooth quartz blocks. Two upside on smooth quartz slabs. Just like that. So you kind of have like a ridged effect almost. Which wasn't really what I was intending, but you could totally leave it like that. Although that will change the front of the build. So... Yeah, but where you want to do with those ups and downs smooth quartz slabs, you want to bring every single one up with a normal smooth quartz slab. Just like that. Now, you want to fill in these little ridges here on the bottom side in with spruce wood planks. And that's the back of your build all done. That was fairly simple, I'd say. But... Let's focus on the front now, because the front is where the um, good stuff is. You want to... Okay, this is going to be hard to explain. Actually, no, it can be pretty easy. But you want to place a smooth quartz slab on top of every single stair, and then you basically want to just connect them together. So you should have a row of smooth quartz slabs going above all the ups and downs stairs that are at the front. Only the front ones. Don't bring it back, because it's going to be kind of similar to the back, and where it's a bit different going back. Plus, it moves forward a row. So you do want to bring that um, row of smooth quartz slabs forwards a row. And also right and left by a row. Just like that. Now. Going left to right or right to left behind that row does not matter. You want to place two smooth quartz blocks. Spruce wood plank. Two smooth quartz stairs, making sure the divots are facing forward. Spruce wood plank. Smooth quartz block. Spruce wood plank. Two smooth quartz stairs, again, making sure they're facing forward and they're not upside down. Spruce wood plank. Smooth quartz block. Spruce wood plank. Two smooth quartz stairs, spruce wood plank, smooth quartz block, spruce wood plank, two smooth quartz stairs, spruce wood plank, and then two smooth quartz blocks. Just like that. Now, this is where it's going to get a little complicated. We're going to ignore the spruce wood planks and the smooth quartz stairs. What you want to do with every single smooth quartz block is you want to bring it back with an additional smooth quartz block. Again, make sure you do not do anything with the stairs or the planks yet. Because that will be for a different time. Then what you want to do with the smooth quartz um, blocks is you want to bring them up diagonally backwards with a smooth quartz slab or a row of smooth quartz slabs. Don't place the entire row though, it will affect the inside. Bring that back by a row.
And then you want to... Okay, this is going to be where it gets a little confusing. The inner ones, which is three. The inner smooth chord slabs, which is the only, the sections of where there's only one smooth chord slab. You want to bring backwards with one smooth chords block. And you do not have to do anything else after that. You can just ignore it at this point. Pretty sure. Yes. The other ones, however, you want to bring the 2x2 two two smooth chords slabs back with two smooth chords blocks each. And then up diagonally backwards with a smooth chord slab, and then bring it back by one. Just like that. Now. You want to fill in the sides of your little cheese wedges here in with spruce wood planks at the left and right. I don't know why cheese wedges was the first thing that came to my mind, but, you know. And then from the outside, you want to bring all of your smooth chord slabs down with a row of upside down smooth chord slabs. Except for the front two. The front two are special, and they don't um, get, the, get the slab treatment, I guess, if you will. But yeah. So you should basically have like a staggering effect, almost. Like, it's a consistent... I guess consistent is not is more proper, not staggered, but it's just a consistent slope, which is what we are going for. Now, this is where the smooth, not the the smooth court stairs and the spruce wood planks come into play. Going left to right, or right to left, and top of the spruce wood planks area. So basically, if you want to do the entire row, you could, but you just have to leave a two block gap because these smooth court blocks here. But you want to place one spruce wood plank, two glass panes, spruce wood plank, skip over any smooth quartz block, so any any of them, that goes for the future as well, spruce wood plank, two glass panes, spruce wood plank, and then again skip the um, smooth quartz block, spruce wood plank, two glass panes, spruce wood plank, Again, skip the gap, spruce wood plank, two glass panes, spruce wood plank. Just like that. Now, going left to right or right to left on top of that does not matter. You want to place smooth quartz block, two spruce wood planks, smooth quartz block, Bridging the gap, you want to place a smooth quartz slab, smooth quartz block, two spruce wood planks, smooth quartz block, again bridging the gap, smooth quartz slab, smooth quartz block, two spruce wood planks, smooth quartz block, again bridging the gap, smooth quartz slab, smooth quartz block, two spruce wood planks, Smooth quartz block, and then a smooth quartz slab. Come to the far left side, and you do want to place a smooth quartz slab left of that smooth quartz block. Or I guess if it's the right side, if you started from the right. But, uh, yeah, this is what you should have. It's kind of hard to see it with the contrast of the background of it. But, yeah. On top of every single spruce wood plank, you want to place a smooth quartz slab. You don't, don't worry about the ones back there. You will end up placing smooth quartz slabs on top of them eventually, but you don't need to do that right now. Alright. Now what you want to do is you want to... So basically, this is kind of like a roof section. Just one big roof. Kind of one um, big M. One, two... Okay, it's two M's connected if you want to take that route. But you want to bring all of the smooth quartz slabs and blocks of this backwards until they hit a part of the roof, or they hit the back of the build. So basically, okay, actually, it's gonna be, a, no, it should be fine, actually. So basically, that smooth quartz slab wants to go back until it hits that. These smooth quartz blocks want to go back until it hits the smooth quartz blocks. Same here with these slabs. Okay, yeah, never mind, because this roof does um, overlay on the other one, so it just doesn't matter. And then this smooth quartz slab will just go back. And then once it's one block away from the smooth quartz blocks, you want to place a smooth quartz block. So basically on these sections here where it's down at the bottom, there should be two smooth quartz blocks at the back. There always will be at least two at the back. Except for on the um, upper sections, because those are taller and they kind of create 
that effect. Honestly, I think out of all the barn tutorials in general, the farm tutorials, I changed the playlist to farm, because farm makes more sense rather than barn. But I think out of all of the farm buildings, this might be my favorite. For some reason, I seem to build better when I listen to music, and I don't know why, I just like... It wasn't really like actual music, but... I was listening to something, but like, I don't know, whenever I am like, kind of side-tracking, I guess? Multi multitasking? Sure. Doing something on YouTube. I seem to, like, just go a little bit more out of my comfort zone, and it usually works. Like, I could have just cut off these, because I wanted to, the reason I actually added these is because I wanted, um, sunlight from the bottom. Okay, add these then. Alright. So, uh, I was also going to add um, little glass things at the top, but I didn't think that looked very good. So, next step. You want to bring the um, roof here, This again, the zigzaggy roof that we've been working on. You want to bring it forward by a row. Just like this. Then on the top smooth cord slab sections, you want to place upside down smooth cord slabs. Just like that. That's basically the funnier build done. Now we do have a few little minor things to fix. So. Uh, I would get rid of your, I guess, pillar quartz blocks and get out night vision. Although you do not have to do this. I am just doing this so you can see what I am doing. Okay, it didn't make the sound. Sorry, that startled me. But you want to come to the inside. And basically we have these gaps here where there's... um just like opening you just want to place spruce wood planks to fill them in don't fill in anything additional and also not not that on the sides basically bringing back the um top sections by three actually it's three on all of them and then also these little like inner walls here in between all of the pens you do want to fill the wall in with spruce wood planks or stables whichever you prefer to call them it's up to you Now, coming to the inside, you want to basically place spruce upside down spruce wood stairs facing towards the inside over the smooth quartz blocks on the bottom. Now, you'll notice, okay, don't ignore these because these are going to be diff used for different, this is going to be um, covered up differently, or they, don't, they won't actually be completely covered up, but you'll notice how in the left and the right pen, you have one smooth quartz block on one side and then two on the other side. On the side with two, you want to break the back one and replace it with a spruce wood plank. And then the other two want to be upside down spruce wood stairs facing towards the center. Just like that. So that's what all the pens should look like. These middle ones should not look like that. However, they may... And if they do, then I would just get that would just delete all the back blocks because you don't need any of them. They are not required. Like, see, also here it has a, and you basically can just destroy it because it's it's not needed at all. And then what you want to do is basically on one of the two spruce wood planks, kind of in between the two stairs on either side, I would place it on the front one, the one right behind the upside down stair. You want to just place a lantern. Now, you can do it at the back. You can do it anywhere along the sides. I would place one on either side, though, just to make it symmetrical. Since this does have a two-block center. Well, actually, the actual build has a one-block center. This is the center of the build, but each stable individually has a two-block center. But, um, yeah. And then come to the top of each one, and uh, below these smooth quartz slabs, you just want to place upside on smooth quartz slabs as well just to kind of double layer you don't need to do this um this is probably the most useless step in my opinion but just makes it look a little bit better in my opinion and also these stairs aren't going to be covered up but what's actually nice about these stairs is it does make it look more quartzy from the bottom which is what you want from the inside, however, the cows won't really care, but you do have that. And I would not place stairs across this because that will block the window a little bit. 
which you're not going to be able to see from the floor, but if you're flying up, you'll be able to see it, and I just think that it does look better this way. Now, as far as what you can do for the inside, for pen number one, you want to get out hay bales. Actually, pen number one and pen number four, or, or stable number one and stable number four. For stable number one, I just place, like, a pile of hay in the corner, so I place one, bring it out, and bring it forward, and also right by two. Fill in that little corner so you have, like, a diagonal, and then just do it so you have kind of, like, a staggering pile. I know that was dumb, dumb explanation, and I'm sorry, but... That's basically what it should look like. Not very hard. And then the fourth stable, which I'm actually going to build in the second one instead, because it doesn't really matter. The numbers don't matter. You basically just want to break, like, a general kind of pattern in the floor. Like, maybe something like this. And you want to replace it with hay bales. This is supposed to be kind of like a bed, almost, I guess. And then this one's just kind of a pile of food. Which, there is an alternative to that. But, for the other two, you just want to get out smooth quartz, or normal quartz stairs, actually not smooth quartz. And cauldrons along with water buckets. And then, for the third one, you want to place along the far walls, you want to place an up, or a normal smooth, normal quartz stair. Sorry, I've been saying smooth quartz so much in this video. Facing towards the inside, and then you want to place two in the middle of that facing backwards. This is like a little, um, kind of area where you can just pour some food in and they'll go over and eat it. You can also put this at the front if you'd like, or make maybe that wall like one, I don't know, you could put it like kind of sticking out the back of the build if you want, and then have like a small slit like here. I'll actually, I can actually show you. That's not what I needed. I needed spruce wood slabs. But like basically... Just kind of have it sticking out the back like this. Okay, I'm going to have to break this. And then have like a little slit so you can come at the back and pour it in. And also I do the same with the next pen, which is where you just want to take a cauldron and you want to kind of just place it at the back with some water. And you can place multiple if you'd like. I'd actually place four as well. And then again, do the little slab trick where you have... Just a small slit, and you can even put more, like, here. Or you could actually just place them directly. Well, I don't know how convenient that would be. But, yeah. So those are your four options. I did actually alter them a little bit from originally, but, yeah. Here's this one. I'll show you each one. Here's this one. This one, which doesn't look very good. It looks better than the other one. And this one. But, um, yeah, once you've done that, ladies and gentlemen, that is your cow stable or cow pen complete, whichever you prefer to call it. Thank you guys so much, you guys did enjoy this video. If you have any suggestions for any tutorials, feel free to leave them in the comments. And, um, yeah, have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.